Okay, this is a, a description of how you can create new variables or derived variables uh, using Weka. So I've opened up the glass data set here and I uh, can see that there are, uh, I think all of the variables except for the last one are numeric. So this is numeric and they're all numeric. Okay, uh, so there is an, a filter under the unsupervised attribute classification. It's called add expression. So this is the one that we want to use. So then in order to create a new variable, you can click on this and you can enter an expression for a new variable. So suppose you wanted to take the average of this one and this one. So take uh, for each uh, instance, you would take um, the RI and the NA and you'd take their sum and then divide by two. You can do that here. So A1 stands for the first attribute, A2 stands for the second attribute and so on. So this would be A1 plus A2 would mean this uh, variable plus this variable divided by two. And that's all you need to do in order to create a new variable that looks like this. So you can do that and click apply. And now you have the new variable. I guess I wonder if you want to give it a name instead of this, you could give it a name like that, but this might be more suggestive or you might want to call it uh, R1 or RI rather plus NA slash two. And maybe this could be the name. And now if we run this, we get this. Now, if you want to read a little bit more about this, uh, ex this filter, you can click here and read that. And we see that we can use the plus operator, which we did here, here. We can also use the minus operator, the multiplication divide exponential. You can also use logs, absolute values, cosine, exponentials, square root, floor, ceiling, I don't know what that is, uh, tangent, sine, not sure what that is. So this is one way to create uh, variables, derived variables within Weka.